What are you risking by making a change in your engineering career? In this week's engineering management lessons video, I'd like to talk a little bit about the idea of change in one's engineering career because I get the question all the time coming in from engineers who say, I think I might like working in this discipline better, or I think I want to go work in a different location, but I'm afraid to make a change and take a risk. Actually, what we're going to do in this episode is I'm going to share a clip with you. It's a clip of John Grillo. John is a licensed professional engineer. He works as a project executive at Keller. And John made a big change in his career about nine years ago or so. He was working as a consulting engineer and he decided to make the transition into the construction world and work for a contractor. That's a huge change for a consulting engineer. And John was obviously scared and you can hear in his voice here and in his mannerisms of how much risk he felt he was taking on. But I want you to listen to him talking about the process and then I wanna come back and talk a little bit more about you know, how you can think through the idea of making a change in your engineering career. Yeah, I mean, you know, it was a major life event, right? I decided to, to take the leap of faith and say, let me see what it's like to be a specialty contractor. Hmm. Like that was a tremendous, I was terrified for that decision. And, uh, you know, uh, and it's been different ever since. I mean, I, I ended up, I, I, I like being a consultant, but I love being a contractor. And I would have never known that if I didn't take that leap and I, you know, I had no idea like where, I, where that would find me now being uh, a contractor for the past nine years. I mean, the, the road I've traveled from there has been, you know, um, nothing I would have anticipated. It's been, um, you know, it's, it's been rewarding. It's been difficult and um, it's been fun. So, I mean, taking that, taking that risk, taking that leap was definitely a big change uh, for me. So again, that was John Grillo, and you know you can see that it was it was a life changing decision for him. And now it's a little bit easy for him nine years later to say, you know, I had a lot of fun. Um, he did acknowledge that it was a difficult road at times, and it may be, but there was a huge opportunity that he was able to find by making that transition and taking the risk that he never would have found. And there's so many engineers that stay in the exact position, in the exact department, in the exact location that they're in for many years when they're unhappy, just because they're afraid to take the risk. Now, if you like what you're doing, you like the work you're doing, you like the people you're working with, stay there forever. I don't have a problem with that. I, I, I disagree with people that say that you have to move around from company to company to find happiness. That's not true. However, if you feel like you wanna make a change and you're not because you're just afraid of risk, then that's something that you're gonna live with for your entire career. So what I propose to you, or what I challenge you to do actually, is to say to yourself, what's the absolute worst thing that can happen? I try something else and it doesn't work out. You can most likely go back to what you were doing before and possibly even go back to the same company that you worked for. That actually happened to me in my career. I tried going from working in engineering to trying something else. It didn't go well. I actually went back to the same company and ended up working with them for many more years. So the risk may not be as big as you think it is, but you'll never know what opportunities lie ahead unless you give it a shot. So I hope that you'll take a chance if you want to do something else because I believe in you. I think you can do it. You just have to overcome that fear. I hope you enjoyed today's engineering management lessons video. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel here. We do put out multiple videos weekly. And if you happen to be looking towards getting your engineering license, we also have a couple of other YouTube channels past the FE exam and past the PE exam that can help you towards your engineering license. Until next time, I hope that you continue to engineer your own success. <music>